<coughs> hey guys, um, I thought I'd do a video of, I don't know what that is, of, uh, Upper Black Rock Spire Run for Classic WoW. Um, I've been playing this game a lot lately. It's like the main game I've been playing. And, uh, got kind of bored, so I thought I would just show you guys the final raid before, or the final dungeon before um, the real final part of this game, which is Molten Core and Anixia. Uh I am main tanking this, this uh, run. And, um, just thought I'd show you, like, what kind of goes into, um, main, goes into main tanking, uh, Upper Black Rock Spire. I'm not doing this with a guild, this is a pug. Right here, I'm not really, um, paying attention too much. Uh, I'll pull this guy here. Uh, so you want to mark the summoners um, because they have a move that summons uh, more guys. Simple as that. Um, as you can see, I'm just making sure that none of the mages or anything get too low. Um, and basically, you, I'm pressing tab to switch my targeting and then I'm pressing 3 to Sunder Armor. I have lots of stuff. One second. So I had to do some sorting there. Um, marking the summer, so this is gonna be, you know, kind of easy. Um, I really hope that these. I really hope that this. Um, can you please add the tanks to the tank in raid UI? hate this kid. I mean, it's upper Black Rock Spire. This isn't like Molten Core. I don't know why this kid's taking it so seriously. Especially this first part. Like, it's so easy. And like... He, before like it started, he was like, hey, can I put uh, an item on reserve? Which means uh, no one rolls for it. He just gets it automatically. And I was like, um, and I was like, uh, yeah, sure. I'll put that on reserve. Like, sure. Uh, like, you can get that item. Excuse me, hold on. Um. Oh, it's, you know, it's not gonna bother me. Um, and I just don't care. Like. Like, if, if, if that rolls and he doesn't win it, I, I won't care, like, in the least bit. Like, you need to wait your fucking turn. 
Um, like everyone else. No one wants to waste their time rolling for the same items over and over again. I mean, I've ran this dungeon like <sighs> 10 times since Vanilla's release. And, uh, where's the summoner? So you won't always find the summoner. Like I said. <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm kind of cold. Uh, kind of have a cold, so I, uh, that's why I was AFK there for a second. I'm doing this live, I don't want to do this, like, in, like, retro, because, like, quite frankly, I just, like, don't care enough. Um, this is for, like, you know, hardcore gamers. Um, a lot of this stuff is inside base volley. You have to know about WoW. You have to know, you know, what, um, a lot of this stuff means that I'm, what I'm doing means, um, you know, like, for example, like, you have to just know, like, a lot of, about what these, uh, what my moves actually do, um, and, uh, uh see, I shouldn't have shield blocked there, because I got, there's just, there's almost too much, there's almost an infinite amount of, not infinite, <laughs> it's clearly finite, um, amount of, uh, stuff that I, that I'm doing. So basically, like, what you gotta know is, um, I'm a tank, so my, um, job is to take all the damage while my damage dealers or they while they um, do the dam do the damage my move taunt makes it so that the guy auto the guy I taunt automatically attacks me and then sunder armor reduces the armor but it builds threat and normally I have this threat meter up here but it is not working right now um, it shows how much uh, threat you have on a non-player character, or I'll abbreviate it to uh, uh, NPC. And um, uh, the more threat you generate, which is by doing damage or doing moves to an NPC, um, when you reach the most threat out of everyone that's uh, targeting it, you... Um, You, you take the aggression, the, the aggro from the NPC. This is a boss that we just have to unlock. So Uber starts with that room, those rooms we were in. You just have to kill everyone in those rooms. And uh, that's why we didn't skip any of them. Sorry, guys, I was using I was an arcane explosion because I was put it in the wrong slot. <laughs> okay, it's alright, man. You know, it's not a big deal. So, like, what Sunder Armor does, like this move that I'm using mainly, is it lowers their, their armor, but it, um, has a ton of... <laughs> oh. That's so good. Um, it adds a ton of... What was I even saying? I want it. Yes. It's sick, actually. It's actually awesome. I've never seen that drop before. So, oh, Sun Armory has a lot of threat, so that it has an improportionate amount of threat. It does no damage, but it adds a ton of threat. To let's see if my threat meter is working. Um, oh, uh, this 
so that you gain you gain the aggro aggression of uh, oh this is it is working. Um, usually people put on this side, but I just like it how like then I have I can see on this side. So you'll see like me right at the top. So I'm gonna just keep using my moves so that they can't retake the threat from from the NPC. So that the NPC is always attacking me. I mark myself because I'm the main tank, so um, skulls is, is always what you kill first, and you have we have to kill these mage uh, type of guys first because um, they do a massive AOE uh, explosion, and they can kill everyone in the party. Uh, this is a 10-man raid. Um, most dungeons are not or five throughout the whole game. Um, this first part, so this is the first part of the raid, is was made to be a five-man raid. And uh, so it's fairly easy. It's really easy. As you know, it, we're, we're basically like running through it. So like here when I pull more than one guy, uh, I, I actually use my demoralizing shot or demo shot. Okay, we, uh, this is not good. So I just used my challenging shot so that everyone in the, everyone here actually um, um, attacks me only uh, I'm just gonna spam my moves right now and even click them if I have to um, because uh, we pulled too much whoever pulled there um, simply just like pulled too much uh, I can I can kill this thing so by um uh, hold on. So I did a lot of things there. I um I stance dance into I popped all my cooldowns and then I stance dance into battle shout or battle stance and I used mocking blow which is a um a taunt but it's a two minute taunt and it can only be used in battle stance. Um, that that pull was just honestly too big, like straight up. Uh, when you go, when you're at this part, um, for these you play while, well and we'll get to this, uh, you need to um, make it so that your back's like towards these walls and not towards those walls, because they'll hit you down, and then you'll 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 get hit on these eggs. If you look at these eggs, um, they spawn whelps. So the Briar Reed is a. It, Insanely, this is a pre this is a pre raid best in slot. It increases damage healing trinket. So what happens is, so who got that? Zemplo. Wow, I pulled everyone. I did not mean to. Um, it's fine. So um, that's like the only time I click is when I when I'm moving to use that move which slows down their attack speed because uh, I got too lazy and I didn't macro it yet um, this this is a really big pull but um, we should be okay it looks like I'm uh, it looks like I'm running around a lot um, and that's just mainly to I'm trying to just gain threat on basically everything and I got a look see right now Exemplo has this as long as Irie, who's the off tank, is in first or second, I'm okay. What was that key I just got? Oh, those look like keys. Make sure I don't sell that. All the stuff I put on the bottom, I don't sell. Um, just to be safe. Those are just some consumables. I have the elixir of greater defense, which is really good. <clears throat> so what I do here is I pull with my bow, and then I go around here so it can't shoot me, and then I just pull it so that... Um, they're bunched up so that we can kill them quicker so that like all our guys can use their uh, multiple hit targets moves or area of effect moves also known as AOE um, hold on a second so we're gonna bypass um, everything like back there because it's like unneeded um, I also like to uh, point out that I have Mira's song and I have my Crusader uh, 
enchant you see in green it says crusader um, that's a very good weapon that you get at end game um, uh, and it's through a quest so you automatically get it uh, it has like pretty good stats uh, 9 strength 9 agility 40 damage per second and uh, 1.8 speed so it's it's quite fast for a uh, the one hander which is really good it's all about building threat um, and then the crusader enchantment this guy better not pick up this so I always wait here alright um, so this is called the rend event so rend black hands up here uh, he drops like um, these really good swords and this is like the main reason why we're here is for the rend event um, I probably won't roll on any of them because there's too many and I don't want it, like to for people to get mad that I roll, rolled on the swords because I'm here for the tanky stuff so I'm here for the the helmet that he drops and then later I'm here for the shield that the last guy drops so if you're into the lore Lord Victor Nefarious is Nefarian which is a dragon who's uh, one of the final I think the final boss in Blackrock in uh, the raid that's coming out uh, in a few phases um... I mean, there's there's just so much. Uh, that's a really good shield. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I don't know if it's best though. Best in slot. Um, because the draconian deflector right here it has 10 fire resistance and defense plus 10 it's just tankier it's just probably better against pve stuff um so um and right now i'm trying to get geared for pve so all this stuff is best in slot or secondary best in slot besides my two trinkets this just the one trinket this is best in slot um and then my fingers uh are both close to best in slot but they're not the helmet's not best in slot which is what I'm here for and the shield is not best in slot everything the neck this neck's awesome I just wouldn't say it's best in slot for tanking it doesn't give you the greatest tanking stats um I don't know if what I would use that over the Nixia thing. I'd probably use that. Yeah, it's only two more stamina. It's a more fire resistance, but if you crit, it just builds up so much more rage. So, like, what I do is I start with blood rage. It takes off health, and then it um. What are these stacks? Oh, that's the. War I'm not used to warlocks. I don't see them. They're very rare. They're very good. If I were to give some advice for um, someone getting into this game, uh, what what should you be? I would highly recommend a warlock. They're needed a lot, and their gear is not fought over very much. I would definitely consider mage also because of how easy the game is to level. But at late game, mages are very hard. They need a lot of items for PvP and PvE. Um, So when I fight, I use Blood Rage. It uh, does a cooldown. It it takes health, but it gives me rage. So then I could instantly sunder and then demo shout. So so how warriors work is they they can't use their moves. There's certain moves they could use for free, like taunt. Um, and then when they get hit or they hit something, they build rage, and then each all the moves cost rage. Um, so you want to get hit and you want to hit um, which is really cool in my opinion it's a really cool mechanic so the more you the harder you get hit and the harder you hit the more rage you get the more moves you can use um, which is really cool um, my bow is just for stats this is not best in slot, I forgot that's not best in slot. This is the second best in slot. You get this from a pretty pretty damn hard quest. Um, at the end game you have to do a raid on a single boss. He's probably the hardest boss I've fought so far. Just in terms of sheer uh, 
health and damage. Uh, mainly because he summon you can't heal, or if you, every time you heal, he summons a skeleton, and so you just have to burn him down. So it's a world. He's he's in the world, so um, he easily can just be like zerged, as they call it, just like tank and spank. Um, and it's just for the stats. It's not even that good. Two strength, you know, nine nine. St Agility. Um, I have everything else enchanted that I could. I'm waiting to get the helmet. Uh, hopefully, the helmet will drop here. So all we do are doing is waiting for these guys to like send these guys to the gates. I mean, I've done this over ten times now, probably tw twelve times. Let's see. Um, these are best in slot. I think no matter what for tanking. These are optional best in slot. They're really tanky. These are optional best in slot. These are best in slot for tanking. Uh, you can also go with another one that uses um, that sac sacrifices uh, being tanky for um, more hit 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 percentage. Uh, if you notice, I actually miss quite a few if the the mob is around level 60 because um, I just don't have any hit percentage and it's really key obviously not to miss your, your friggin swings you know um, the crusader um, enchantment cost me about 80 gold it's really good no it cost me around 50 gold total I think maybe 60 70 60 to 70 um, and what it does is every it has a chance for every time I um, attack I steal health and so I gain health and I do a little bit more damage to them which is really good especially for tanks you're always wanting want to gain health uh, I think we do one more round and then the Ren comes down on his dragon I mean, we want Ren's dragon to drop uh, his helmet uh, this add-on I have Atlas loot just shows all the loot you can you can have like you know like anywhere which is which is uh, really cool um, and right now we're just zerging it um, there's not really much of like strategic strategy that we're using here because our whole um, party is like warriors and rogues so at the like, close range we have one we have one uh, Warlock here. We have one mage, and then the two priests just stand back and heal us. Mainly heal me and Ire. All right, so then Ren's coming down, and this is what we've all been waiting for. Like he, this guy has a, a Ren weapon. Dal Ren's tribal guardian. He's got the offhand. So when you get the set, you get plus 50 attack power. It's really good. So, so this is uh, all the easy parts so far. Yeah, so warriors are uh, brown, rogues are yellow, priests are white, blue is mage, purple is warlock. And there's other colors for, I don't know, what else? Hunters are green, I think. I am uh, going to be playing less. Um, I'm applying to grad school, and I'm going to be writing more. This is sort of my last hurrah, um, why I'm playing this, why I'm even making this video. You know, just to have a little memento of, uh, of Upper Black Rock Spire, the last, uh, the pinnacle of, um, almost the pinnacle of World of Warcraft Classic. So when Glyph when Gith gets down to about um, uh, this amount of health, uh, Ren gets off of him and um, yeah, so then we gotta taunt Rend and then yeah um, kill Rend. So 
some mechanics, but nothing crazy. So when there's five stacks of Sunder, which is the max, then I start doing my uh, Shield Slam and my uh, Heroic Strike. They just do like more damage. Um, and hit the helmet, did not drop as usual. It, I don't actually think it's in the game. Uh, I'll grade that. All right. So now the, so now the um, like after this, the um, this is when it gets harder. You'll see the mobs are bigger. Um, the the NPCs hit harder. You have to be a little bit more coordinated. So. I'm gonna taunt this guy. I'm not sure that 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 this was even on a. Uh, it just looks like a lot of chaos to like a lot of people that don't play the game much. It isn't really. I have to cough. Um, you want to kill the assassins first. Uh, I think they have like a move or two that could like one shot. Uh, the clothies, aka the guys that like wear cloth and they don't, they're not as tanky. Um, towards the end of the fights of of a little pack, I usually um, uh, stop using my moves so that I can build rage instead of expand rage, expound rage, expound rage. I believe that's the word I'm looking for. I don't even really need to tank these guys. Um, we kill them so fast. We have a lot of single target um, AOE. Because um, rogues and warriors are like single target. Usually the mage classes have uh, AOE area of effect. See, I'm not gonna do anything right now. I'm just like let my rage build up. You see like the green. You see like the green, which is um, <coughs> me getting healed. These guys who are level 61, level 60 is the max. Um, level 60 dwarf warrior. So they do. Uh, let's just say they do a lot of damage, and they're really tanky. I mean, it's taking us 10 guys to kill one. You come up to quite a cool boss here in a second. I think you're gonna like if you haven't seen this boss before. But yeah, I take this slow, kill the pats, this pats is sh pat is short for patrol. They're the NPCs that kind of walk around the area. Uh, we're going to clear this whole room. Uh, you don't have to clear the room. Actually, we might not clear the room. Um, because... I don't know if we have someone who can kite the uh, the boss, the last boss. Yeah, Irie's I doing a good job. I kind of want to keep calling him Irie. Um, I mean, we could pull the rest of the room. I sort of want to. See the patrol right here? He's walking. Um, 
Yeah, the one thing I like about this game is like class identity. A lot of it seems like. Oh, he pulled the whole pack. Uh, so we're gonna max DPS on the skull. I'm actually gonna help DPS it. We can easily wipe there if uh, if that lived longer. They just start blowing up. Yeah. So what I do is I look for uh, like NPCs that have low Sunder armor stacks, and I just kind of do that. And then I look, I, I make sure like, see, this is my ranged character. She looks like she's like you know <coughs> wearing cloth. She's dead. See. Uh, and then I make sure I taunt away away from it. Um, I am a protection warrior, so I am 35 points in protection. I uh, should have gotten proof taunt rank two. It's not the biggest deal. Then five here to get the critical, five in arms to get parry, and then this, which um, it makes you gain uh, rage while you're in combat too, which is uh, really good. <coughs> so the boss is in here. He's called the Hound. He drops... Uh, or the Beast. He drops... So This is what you skin off of him. Uh, he drops these, which I might... I don't know. They're bad. I mean, intellect. I just see the intellect, and I'm just grossed out. They're just, they're just gross. These, these suck. <clears throat> I don't know. I could have the set. Oh, that's what people want him for. Those Finkel Skinner. I love being the tank. Like, look, you're ahead of everyone. Everyone kind of waits on you. So blood rage, and I'm gonna ma be max stack. So like, what this guy does is he hit me in the air. Yep, as always. And then he will fear, and he'll do that, which does tons of damage. And then he'll. Um, so now I'm gonna just like DPS this. Um, he, he does that, which is the I forget what that move is called, and then. He will do a fear soon. He'll do a f he, he will do a fear very soon. I'll probably get hit by it. You notice I'm not using my uh, uh, Sunder. I'm using my Alt 4 Heroic Strike to do more damage. Uh, we got him. And my Shield Slam. Uh, these are agreed. Just in leggings. Wow, those are fucking good. Those are really good. They're not really good, but, you know, alright. Um, Okay, so he can't sap it. So we have to kill these two quickly. It's 
So we're gonna pretty much like max DPS. I'm gonna keep the big guy. You see how much damage that just did? Yeah. You see my health go down, so I backed off a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna live through this pack. You notice, um, I mean, it's so quick. You see how quickly I could have died? So what happens is the mages can turn humanoids into um, sheep for a long time. And then uh, we just, we go on the other one. So it just eliminates one more target that's attacking us. You usually mark sheep with moon. It usually goes um, skulls, first kill, cross the second kill. Um, sap is cir circle or square and then moon is like always um, so I say we uh, poly this kill this and then this <coughs> and I just say R for ready So we kill the uh, somewhat less tanky um, assassin, and now I'm gonna. Oh yeah, so my Q, which I use a lot, but it, it only can follow a parry a dodge, uh, parry dodge or block, um, and it um, it's only five rage, so it's a lot less, and then uh, it does a lot of threat. So these assassins actually pat up and down. You almost killed IR. Yeah, you see how my mage like pulled aggro like right away. It's because I'm not I'm not using blood rage. I don't want to use it. It's a one minute cooldown. So we're just clearing this room out, making everything easier. See, this is like how you play WoW. You, you like pu usually like pull it into a room where everything's like easier to, uh, you know, to, to, to fight. You know. Marking that as moon. Skulls. Uh, I have it uh, hot keyed. Just so you know. Uh, I usually look at my uh, their mana. So always keep an eye on your mana, especially as a tank. You want to make sure you're not, um, you know, you're not, um, going in and they, your healers don't have mana so that you just die, or your mages don't have mana, you know. See, that's up. Taunted him there at the end. Alright, so this is a pretty hard pull. Um, so we only have one mage, you know, that, that's sort of the problem. Poly circle. All right, so now it's a two. You know, oh, he got out of sap. Okay, so he probably. That's weird. He probably both of them. I don't want to jinx it. This has uh, been a very easy, cl very clean run um, so far.
I mean, there's so much more I could have said, like, you know, why we turned left and right when we should have. Uh, it's very self-explanatory, though, when you when you actually. Uh, When you actually run the dungeon, it, it's it's linear. It, it's a very linear dungeon. Raid, or whatever you may call it. Alright. This is a tough pull. There's a path that walks around. These guys go back. Uh. <clears throat> we will eventually kill the pat. Um. But we have to wait till they're away from them. So a lot of WoW is about being patient, in my opinion. Like, that's the whole game. Um, okay, so I immediately demo shouted because the whole pat, pack, um, he, pull, he pulled the whole pack. Um... Let's see, the X, for some reason this X, the X is on IR, which is fine. I got, st I got stunned, and my armor is sundered, so. So what I, you know, I'm waiting to get um, five stacks here. And then, I mean, this is, you know, we're going to kill that. See, see how I just have guys just fighting, like attacking me the whole time because I'm, I'm the, I'm the tank. I'm watching my health. My health is getting pretty low. I was in such bad groups before. They have to wait till we get they move away from that. So I'm gonna um whoa, okay. I got almost hit off. I mean, you gotta watch for shit like that. That was that could have been detrimental. So we had this guy sap. So sap is a move that rogues that rogues use. That when they stun for a very long time, like 40, 40 something seconds, but they can't. They can only do it to humanoids, and they can't be in in combat. I don't know why that guy ran to me. Oh, he's got the shield. So if the shield drops, I pretty much have it. So we're praying for the we're praying for the draconian deflector. We're praying for it. Just waiting for their their mana to get up. And you know this game, it's a pretty hardcore game. Like a lot of people kind of already know like this stuff that I'm explaining by just you know playing this game you know over the years, um, which is why you know. 
I was talking to my cousin about this game. It's, it's, just, it's just not, it's not a casual game. I mean, I've been playing, I don't know, how long has this video been? An hour? 40, 50 minutes? Um, you know, I can't just leave this. This is, this is like one, you know, this is one solid game. You know, I can't just leave this, this dungeon, you know? You have to dedicate at least an hour to this. And this is a clean, this is a clean, clean, clean wipe so far. Um, we haven't died once. I mean, that's huge. I mean, there's, it's never like this. You usually die once or twice. I mean, we haven't. F the last boss is very hard. I, I think he's very hard. So this is how we're gonna set up the last boss. Um, I'm gonna hit the skull. Um, okay. Um, Who is um, kiting? So kiting is like pulling him back in the room where the beast is. Um, probably <coughs> the mage, since he is slow. He's going to pull the boss way back into here to buy us time. So the one mechanic this boss has is he has this thing called Conflagrate. And it's a debuff that does tons of damage to me and then all the guys around me. So what happens is the other um, the tank, the other tank has to taunt him away from me when I'm getting... Uh, conflagrated so everyone runs away from me and then I don't die alright so we're going in I'm pulling the little guys, the adds they call them the additions, whatever you wanna say it's short for uh, getting five stacks of sunder and then I'm gonna start DPSing I'm gonna move on to uh, this guy give him a little help I'm not going to use any of my moves. I'm going to get my rage up. Alright. I mean, we are a yoked party, dude. I'm telling you. So I'm going to look for... Um, Ire. So he's behind me. And I'm going to wait till he someone gets conflagrated. So I have aggro right now. You see, notice how the... Alright, so I'm going to pull him here. Ah, we both taunt at the same time, that's not good. It's alright. Okay, so I'm conflagrated, I can't do anything, I'm taking big damage. Look at my health bar go down. They all need to get away from me. You see that? You see that? Okay, so I got a big fat heal there. Big fat heal. Big fat heals, big fat heals. And we got him. Oh my god. Dude, the, I mean the shield just it, it it just never it just never it just never go it just never drops it's just never gonna drop for me huh and that's all I need. Uh, well, that was good. This is a very fast run. I uh, got the item. So that's Upper Black Rock Spire. Uh, man, I'm never going to get that shield. I really am not. I really am not going to get that shield. I, I just... I don't know. It just seems... To, it's dropped one time and I lost the roll by two points against another kid who was totally decked out. He had some M MC gear. 
Oh my god, man. Uh, this is Iron Forge, the main city. Alright. See you later, guys. Any questions, just let me know.